Hello, it's Ryan here for Silly Reviews. This will be what I consider episode one of a new series we're going to call uh, Misophonia Killed It. Or no, Misophonia Ruined the Show. And we'll substitute the show with whatever podcast, movie, radio show, anything that it is that Misophonia ruins for me and others like me and people who may have this condition underlying and don't realize it i'm gonna help ruin something for you so what is misophonia okay it's a disorder where you have a decreased tolerance to specific sounds and things you can sense related to them uh, while it doesn't yet have official recognition as a distinct disorder Experts still recognize it. There's now a formal consensus definition for research purposes and for diagnosing and treating it. So this is something I've kind of self-diagnosed on myself over the years. This started back when I was a child. Uh, my whole life, I have kept headphones on as long as I could. Uh, not like uh, the little brother on something about Mary or Rain Man, or anything like that, but I've always been sensitive to sounds, and I could never sleep without having music or noise or something playing on headphones. And that's true to this day, many, many, many years later, that I still wear headphones all the time. I have white noise playing all the time. I listen to podcasts, movies, TV shows, YouTube, constantly, okay? So the problem with that is, I take in so much content and I find favorites. I'll have favorite shows, favorite hosts, things like that. Then they get ruined because I'll pick up on a noise. I'll pick up on verbal ticks. I'll pick up on, uh, let's say, show hosts who chew something while they're performing, while they're on the air. Uh, if they're drinking something, I can hear them swallowing. I can hear the gulps. And then that's all I can hear. I can't hear the show anymore. All I can hear is that noise. And many of shows, it's so difficult to enjoy anymore because once I realize the pattern and something they do, and this kind of relates back to when I was a kid, uh, some things that really used to set me off. My brother was, uh, oh my God, he used to chew with his mouth open and just make all these smacking noises. He grind his teeth, um, the snoring, you know, things like that. And the, it just, the, my body just tenses up and I just want to freak out when I hear noises uh, like that or like anything. I can hear people working outside, neighbors, and it just drives me nuts. Um, somebody drives by and honks their horn or or anything it just drives me crazy so anyway here's the first episode and the title needs to be something like misophonia it ruins and what we're going to call it this time is ruins the jason whitlock show jason whitlock is kind of this conservative uh black guy kind of went rogue doing his own thing after he butted heads with the liberal networks <clears throat> excuse me and he's doing his own thing. He's quite successful. His YouTube channel is almost at 350,000 subscribers. He covers a lot of, I'm not big into sports like I used to be, but he covers a lot of topics around sports uh, that are more political and societal in impact than they are stats, uh, wins, losses, players, things like that. Uh, well, athletic performance, I should say. So unfortunately, here's what's going to ruin Whitlock for you because it has ruined it for me. Uh, he's a bigger guy, he's kind of heavy. A lot of the heavier guys, uh, heavier people in general, they'll have this deal in their throat where it gets kind of gurgly, right? Well, not only does uh, Jason Whitlock have that gurgle, he has a pop that goes with it. So anytime he says a word that has like a CK sound in it, like smack or uh, puck, um, any word like that with a, a k sound, he gets this gurgle and this snap, this pop that goes with it. And I, it doesn't go away. 
and it's all I can hear. I tried to cue up an example for you. So if you don't want to completely ruin Jason Whitlock by focusing on, on, focusing in on this sound and then worrying that you have a condition uh, like or that is misophonia, misophonia, uh, me hear you long time, me hear everything you do. So here, here's an example of it. See if you can pick up on this and I'll try to find a few examples. Here we go mentality this victim's mentality that the team took on and they're so oppressed and uh britney needs private flights and we're victims and no one not enough people are coming to the game and people have to respect britney griner and britney so did you pick up on that coming pick up on that uh coming game and griner when he said coming game and griner he did uh and my, my mouth is too dry to even do it right now but he did a, 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 a let's see if you could pick up on it uh britney needs private flights and we're victims and no one not enough people are coming to the game and people have to respect britney griner and britney Gr did you hear it it was two snaps like two and then a gurgle on the griner and it's that's all i can hear from his show now it's brutal and i really enjoy his show and no one, not enough people are coming to the game and people have to respect Brittany Griner and Brittany Griner. Look, and, and he, he puts out lots of segments and then he puts out his whole shows and it's, it's so frequent and so intolerable that I'm, I'm missing out on enjoyment uh, from his show. So this will be episode one. Uh, the title will be something like misophonia ruins Jason Whitlock for you or for everyone we'll work on that anyway ryan here silly reviews if you feel like you possibly suffer from what they call misophonia you're sensitive to sounds what do you do do you listen to white noise a lot do you headphones earplugs uh what do you do do you just isolate yourself leave a comment um that's about it for this one thanks for watching